I just got out of the BMW dealership and they basically told me my car is too old for them to look at as uh, they gotta hook it up to their computer to do an alignment or the suspension whatever shit so it looks like I'm not getting scammed today by a dealership I will be going to uh, you know I've, I saw some pretty trustable looking shops on Google that I don't know I, I think I'm just gonna I'm gonna do the cluster try to see if it has any codes and then uh, yeah now I don't even know if I, I want to take it to a shop yet Dude, these freaking awesome people at BMW, they left my hood open. No cap. He like, so you, you guys have seen the, uh, the cable, it's, you know, you just gotta kind of pull on the whole thing. But I guess they pulled that and then couldn't figure out the lever thing in the front. So they just kind of left it and I'm going down the road and I see my hood going like, going like this. And like, I thought I saw it and I was like, nah, no way they would do that. And then I definitely saw it and I was like, oh, beast. So, yeah, it's freaking lit. The Chris Fix video on how to compound and polish. And, uh, dude, these things are, I don't know if I'm a pussy. These are, maybe I need to put more compound. So I'll give you guys, oh, dude, I should do the 50-50 thing. I don't, I don't think I have any scotch tape. I already tried to do a little section here. Can you even tell? You can kind of, you can see the edge. Look at that. Uh, uh, uh. Dude, this this hood kind of sucks. How do you even get it this bad? How does that happen? How does that happen? What are they doing? They fucking, uh, are they like GTA sliding across the hood? This is how it's looking. Okay. And here is the after. The blue is, uh, look at that. Wasn't able to get rid of all these. Might have even enhanced them a little more, but. From this angle, you can kind of imagine how it'd look. So. Uh, was it worth it? Uh, the door and the fender are kind of different colors. So I'm thinking this fender's been replaced at some time and it wasn't reported, but it's looking all right. It's looking all right. It has a lot of scratches. It looks like somebody th took this through a really dirty car wash and it got all messed up. What is up guys? Looking very official here. It's got the Harbor Freight wire brushes, some soapy water, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna go to town on this. Huh, yeah, so I'm gonna go to town on this, see if I'll do anything. All right, so 
it looks like I'm gonna be turning my wheels black. Um, yeah, this is just kinda... This is just kinda how it's going. So I think I'm gonna get some uh, paint thinner or lacquer. Yeah, I think I think maybe paint thinner will do it. I guess Mr. Honeybee likes my waxing job. Do you? Do you like it? Do you like it? None that wax boy. Yeah, that's a good shit. He, he licking it. Yeah. I did a little compound on my... Compound on my trunk. Definitely need to get some new wheel caps. Because, uh, these are nasty. Also, my mom says she wants her laptop back, so... I gotta... I gotta uninstall all the BMW software I put on here. Yeah. You wanna see my uh Yeah. My secret? Uh -huh. I'm guessing you haven't been seeing my second channel. Uh-uh. No? No. Okay. Uh oh. Don't Oh no. No. Oh we don't wanna see. <laughs> you don't wanna see. <laughs> I'm gonna see it. Don't don't tell that do yet. Oh. There's just there's just <laughs> a couple things. It's good though. It's good. Oh my gosh. Let me let me plug in the light. Is it a stick shift? Yeah. Oh man. Yeah, I can move my car. Hmm. You can go for a ride real quick. It's a V eight too. Yeah, I wanna ride. I it's wanna... it's pretty fun. Yeah. I I got a uh, new tires for it. Oh, and that fixed uh the alignment issue. It's not your and car, it's this car that you're wanting yeah, to Yeah, this is, this is... Which I, is your car, too. It is my car, too, yeah. You it's, got insurance? It's, yeah, it's anything? insured, got a license plate. It's got leather. How long have you had it? Um, I got it the Tuesday after you guys left initially. <laughs> so I've had it for like two weeks oh already. Well, yeah, let me move my van and you move your car around. Yeah. Ah, so Tiffany, she's... So this gets, the, the camera gets to, to stay outside now? Or are you going to sell the camera? You well, can, you can sell it for a lot, actually. I was going to trade in the camera. For something new? Well, maybe I want to get like a manual Corolla hatch. Yeah, you could fix like, it. Because like this car, I don't know how well, reliable it is. But it, it's like. Um, you don't need a reliable car. <laughs> Where do you go? Yeah, true, true. But, uh, okay, let me... Yeah, it's a, it's a nice toy. I need yeah. to move my van, yeah. too. You, you can just move over in the grass a little bit. I'll move my car. screen uh-huh it's like busted out uh-huh so i just like mail out the part to a dude on ebay uh-huh and he's got good reviews so. apparently the parts are very expensive yeah the oem parts are expensive but if well, you're they're... doing the work yourself that's good because the labor on them is really expensive if you think the parts are expensive yeah labor on bmws is huge but oh yes learned how to drive a, a stick shift. <laughs> yeah. Let's see how smooth you go. And it's a V8, huh? Yeah. It doesn't get the best gas. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. I, my first car was a V8. It was like six miles a gallon or something. Yeah, I think this gets like 16. No, it doesn't. Do, not that good. No way. Depends on how you drive it, really. It does, yeah. If you can. But this, um, this
this one has uh, there's like two different engines mm -hmm. of these and this one has the more reliable engine so you did a lot of research on it huh? uh, yeah it's got six gears wow yep. wow <laughs> six I've, speeds. I've never I've never seen a car usually see fifth is the the highest one that I've ever owned and dri driven. Where'd you buy it? Uh, Facebook. Oh, okay. Did you have to, was it in here in Tampa or did you have to stretch Orlando or something? Or? Um, it was like Clearwater. Oh, okay. Do you want to guess how much I paid? Uh, $3,000? Uh, it was uh, $4,500. Uh, <laughs> okay. These are pretty rare though. Yeah, you're, you're right. Well, any kind of stick shift is rare. <laughs> and, and you like, you wanted to own a stick shift and you got one. Good. Good for you. Yeah. 45 is not bad. I think I'm, I'm still at under 6,500 total into it. Even with the insurance uh, license, you know, registration. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, in, um, the registration should be cheaper. Car. Yeah, it added like 600 bucks to my insurance, so oh. it wasn't too bad. It was less than I thought it would be. Oh, okay. And that's including the Camry, right? Yeah. You didn't cancel the Camry yet, so... Do your tires slip in the, in the wet? <laughs> well, I'm going to take this uh, cluster out. I take off this panel. Well, I took off this one first. These screws were, I would say, not even, these screws right here were not even hand tightened. Uh, and then, if you notice, this whole thing just kind of starts coming out. Oh. Yeah, there, there, there it goes. It's uh, she's coming out nice and broken and everything. So, yeah, let me get this unplugged. All right, well, got that little border thing off. Just let it. I'm gonna keep that one plugged in. I think that's okay. Um, this thing is not happy with me. So I'm gonna get it unplugged. All right, so <laughs> I took out my cluster and this thing has been brutalized. Somebody has been all up in this. So, um, yeah, that's uh, a little crack there. I think I think that's missing. There's a missing thing there. And then the top here. Dude, these things in the top were this screw was so hard to get out. And then up in here. Yeah, it's alright. Well um yeah, we're going to send this out to the man on eBay. We'll see if I can... My my lights are currently on. Don't know how to turn those off. So I just plugged in this thing again, and the switch is off, so it turned off. And uh, let's figure out how to, sh how to mail this to Colorado. Yippee! 